I've got to take it. Welcome, everyone, to our MIC Monthly Meditation. My name is Scott Quinn. Thank you so much for joining us. And tonight, we are blessed to have with us a Sister Pat Farrell, who is back again, a Dominican Sister of San Rafael. Um, she's a trained meditation teacher, spiritual director, and retreat leader, and has served in a congregational leadership, and most recently was executive director of the Dominican Sisters Conference. She's also worked before at Santa Sabina Center, and she's currently resident manager at their affordable housing site in San Francisco. She's a member of Sophia Zanga and enjoys sharing how Zen and Christianity complement each other. And we're so, so blessed to have you back with us, uh, Sister Pat. And uh, we look forward to what you have to share with us tonight. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here again. Thank you, Scott. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, you know, I think throughout our lives, our tendency is to try to manage our experiences, and we try to use our mind to do so, as if we were overseeing everything from a mental control tower. And we often do this in meditation, and, and some forms of meditation even encourage that kind of stance somewhat. And in this way, our mind, our ego, takes center stage as we try, notice I say try, as we try to control all that comes into our consciousness, our thoughts, sensations, and feelings. In meditation, too, we desire to make it all go away and sit in bliss. So this evening, I'm going to um, invite us to let go of our grip. And as the 13th century Zen priest Dogen said, take the backward step. We will practice a kind of guided, open awareness. Open awareness meditation wouldn't normally be guided, but this, this evening's will be. And this is open as opposed to fixing our minds on something like a mantra or an image, or even counting the breath. And as we do, we can allow whatever arises to arise. So, I will ring the bell three times and we will begin. We start by sitting as we are in a comfortable and upright position our eyes can be closed or open, however you are comfortable. Relax into an awareness of your body and breath. Don't do anything. Just notice what it is like to be alive right now. As you breathe, notice the tendency to want to control your breathing while you watch it. Let go or let the quality of your attention be light and easy, one of simply observing and noticing, just as if you were on a float on a gently undulating sea where you're up with one wave and down with the next.
as you are aware of your breathing, also be aware of any sounds. Don't reach out for them. Just let them come to you. Drop back and be the condition in which all these sounds, these experiences, appear. If you find yourself lost in thought, simply notice the thought. No need to judge. No effort is needed. Allow the thought the freedom to drift away and allow yourself to begin again.
Notice anything that you see. Now this could be with either eyes open or closed, as even with our eyes closed, we experience light, color, and motion. It could even be that a visual image from our mind arises. Just notice it. Don't hang on to it or push it away. Let it dissolve as it appeared. I invite you to notice the sensation, sensation of sitting. Maybe you will notice that you don't really feel your bottom touching the chair or the cushion, or you don't really feel the edge of your skin touching another part of your skin or garment. Pay attention and notice that what you really feel is pressure or energy. Where is it that one thing starts and the other ends? Perhaps some other sensation arises. Pay attention to the sensations. What is it that you really feel? Drop back and be the condition of all that appears or arises.
Again, if you find yourself lost in thought, simply notice the thought. Don't try to push it away. Notice it and watch it dissolve into empty space. Take a moment to check your attitude. Do you find yourself waiting for the next thing, the next sound or image or thought? Do you find yourself wanting to improve your experience of meditation? I invite you to let go of that idea isn't this experience right here, right now, enough?
while all these feelings and images and sounds continue to arise, I invite you to return to the breath. And without straining to watch it, just pay attention as close as you can without trying. Notice when it starts. Notice when it ends. Notice the feelings, the sensations. Who is breathing? Is the breath breathing you? I will ring the bell in a bit when this meditation comes to the end, an end, and I invite you to recognize that you have spent this time intentionally aware of your moment-to-moment -moment experience, being with whatever came your way, opening your senses to what arises without trying to change it, allowing thoughts to come and go without judgment. When I ring the bell, allow your eyes to let some light in, if you've had them closed, and permit yourself to shift or stretch in whatever way feels comfortable.
Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Pat. Oh. Um, Esmeralda, if you could go ahead and stop the recording, please.